My name is Jennifer Vudez, and I'm in the Technology Transfer Office here at NASA Langley Research Center. I'm a licensing specialist. Technology Transfer Program simply means that during the course of a researcher's normal uh, work here for the NASA mission, and as they come up with brilliant ideas and state-of-the-art ideas, they will submit that idea, and we'll often patent it. And from those patents, we will license them to industry. Many different uh, industri industry sectors will license our technology, and that's how our technology becomes the products and services that you see that the public gets a chance to take advantage of. The majority of our intellectual property does fall into four categories, and that's materials and coatings, sensors and detectors, aerospace applications, of course, and software. We have loads of software, and we have a huge software catalog that's published online that we're very, very proud of. So typically, um, even though those are the four categories that our intellectual property fall into, those um, technologies can have a wide, wide range of applications. They can have applications in the automotive industry, in the medical industry, um, just about anything that you can think of. We have technologies that can be applied there. Agency-wide, we have about 1,200 patents uh, or patents pending that are available for licensing today. Here at NASA Langley specifically, we're very proud to have the largest patent portfolio. We have just over 300 patents that are available for, for licensing. It just is a testament to the diversity of intellectual capital that we have here. We still have intellectual property that comes from, say, our aerospace mission, and we have technology that can be transferred to an industry that um, might not be directly related to our center. One of the licenses we have to offer here at NASA Langley is a startup license. It's a relatively new program. We're very, very proud of it. Uh, the startup license is exactly what it says. It gives entrepreneurs who probably have very little capital, very little resources, the chance to get started uh, keeping those resources in their pockets to be able to develop their product or service around a NASA technology. And for the first three years, it's free. So it's a very attractive license.